What is up you guys? It is Jazz and on my channel I talk about nursing, hair, and holistic health and wellness. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, thank you for coming to hang out with me today. And if you are returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. So today's video is going to be part two of my pros and cons list of my non-traditional, non-hospital, non-bedside nursing job. In today's video, we're going to be covering all of the cons or not so great parts of my job. But in the first video, I covered all the pros. So definitely make sure to check out that video as well. And before we jump in, I just wanna put in a little disclaimer to say that everybody is individual. And so therefore our opinions are all different. So what is a pro to me and what is a con to me may not be the same to you or to somebody else. And my job that happens to be a non-hospital, non-bedside nursing job might not have all the same characteristics of all the other non-hospital and non-bedside nursing jobs that you can find. So just because something applies to my job doesn't mean it might apply to somebody else's job, okay? Just a disclaimer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this list of cons of my non-hospital job. The first con of my non-hospital job is that I don't get to have as close of patient interactions. Because I work in a COVID testing lab, you know, we have very limited time with people. And so we don't really get to establish much of a relationship with them or work on building rapport with them. And personally for me, that's just one of my favorite parts of nursing is the patient interaction. I really like the interaction part of nursing. And so for me personally, that's one con of my job is that I just don't get to do as much of that close patient interaction and relationship building as I would if I were working in a hospital. Second on my list, the next con is that in my non-hospital job, I don't get to practice as much critical thinking or clinical judgment as I would if I was in the hospital. Now, once again, let me put this out there. This doesn't apply to all non-hospital jobs. There are a lot of non-hospital jobs where you still have to do a lot of critical thinking and use a lot of clinical judgment skills. However, because my job is a very routine job, there aren't typically many instances that are gonna pop up that are unexpected that are going to cause me to really think outside the box and try to come up with a solution for a problem. If you're working in a hospital, this is just gonna happen like all day, every day, you know what I'm saying? So someone who is working in a hospital is going to get to exercise those critical thinking and clinical judgment skills a lot more than I am. And I feel like as a nursing student, I had pretty good critical thinking skills. And that's just something that I definitely would like to develop more in myself. And so that's just a little bit of a con for my job as I don't get as much consistent practice at doing so. A third con of my non-hospital job is that I don't get to practice a lot of like the technical nursing skills and like the typical nursing skills that you think of when you think about a nurse. So I'm not doing any IV. I'm not administering medications. I'm not doing head to toe assessments on people. None of that type of stuff. Now, this really isn't like the biggest deal in the world to me, but I do think that like the technical and hands on nursing skills are some of the cool and fun parts of nursing. So it is just, you know, worth mentioning that I don't really get to do that in my job. So that is a little bit of a con. The last con of my job is that in my position, I am not constantly, every day when I go to work, pushed to refresh on my knowledge that I learned in nursing school or to further that knowledge and learn more things. Because my position is a very routine job and is specific, I'm working in COVID testing, working with a specific illness, I kind of just have like a set knowledge base that I need to know in order to be able to function at my job and perform it well. I don't really have to expand much further than that, other than of course, when we learn new information about COVID that comes out. All right, y'all, so that brings us to the end of our list. Now, I wanna just say, even though I just went through and gave you a list of 
cons or disadvantages of my job. I just want to put out there and say that overall, I am very, very satisfied and pleased with my job. But I really just wanted to give people some things to think about when they're thinking about possibly doing non-hospital jobs. I think a lot of what the cons of my job are centered around are the fact that I don't do a lot of the typical nursing skills and roles that you think of when you think about a nurse. And you know, I think that's just because going through nursing school, you kind of expect that when you work your first job is going to be a certain way. And so I kind of expected that in my first position, I would be in a hospital and I would be doing a lot of certain things that I'm not doing in my job. But I really come to learn that that is totally okay because working in a hospital and being a bedside nurse is not the only definition of a nurse. That's not the only way that you see nurses appear in society. And I just happen to be one of those nurses that isn't working in a typical job that you think of when you think about a nurse. And that's totally okay because I'm still doing an important job. I'm still doing good work. Like I'm still working hard and I'm still serving a purpose that needs to be served. And you know what? I think that with my current position and my current priorities, in life that that's okay with me to not be working a traditional nursing job. I've kind of started to get more and more comments about like, oh, like, aren't you scared that you're gonna lose all your nursing skills and you won't be able to get hired into a hospital later and this and that, and you won't have experience in a hospital. And honestly, I just wanna say that I really don't think that starting in this position will hinder my nursing journey at all. Personally, I don't really think that I will be seeking a position in a hospital anytime soon but even if i were i still don't think this would hinder me you know what i mean like because all of those nursing skills that i would be relearning and refreshing on if i were a new grad working in a hospital i can relearn those later at any time like you don't have to just relearn them as a new grad you know what i mean and so i'm really not worried about losing skills or you know just keeping up any of these type of appearances or maintaining a job that society deems as a real nursing job or a traditional nursing job. I feel very happy with my current job and I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. And honestly, that's all that really matters. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much all I have for today's video. Once again, definitely make sure to check out part one of this video, which is all about the pros of my non-hospital job. Lastly, I just wanna say thank you to you all for tuning into this video with me today. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye guys.